You know, there's a powerful message behind our annual Project Grad Laptop Telethon, which is coming up soon. If you support this effort, you're telling Knoxville's inner city students working so hard that you believe in them and you want to invest in their future. Students like the two you're about to meet in tonight's Positively Tennessee. Fulton High School seniors Sharon Sharp and Ariana Smith have been friends since middle school. Both have excelled in the Project Grad program. Both are in the top 10 of their class with above a 4.0. Both raised by single moms. I met with all four at Fulton High School, a witness to some proud moments. This will be the first in my immediate family to graduate college. And I'm saying graduate because she is going to graduate. I'm thinking about business now and then law school later. Um, I heard it's easier to get into law school without a pre-law degree. So I'm thinking business and make it stretch further. I work a lot, a lot of hours. So Sharon has really done this on her own a lot. I mean, she wants more than I have and that's what I want her to do. I want her to be able to stand tall and have her own life and be easy and not struggle and work a lot of hours. I just wanted to be different and I've always like wanted to be a leader and make a difference in people's life. They've gotten to know Project Grad staff well over the years. Kenzie Zimmerman is a beloved teacher and mentor. She was a Project Grad scholar who went on to earn a master's degree, now giving back at her alma mater. Because of my experience getting to know what that's like, it has really helped even in conversations with students individually to say I've been there and I know I know what that's like and to get to continue to grow the opportunities and give students even more opportunities than I had is, is a fabulous thing. Sharon and Ariana were among a group of Project Grad students surprised by Vol cheerleaders and staff last fall who came to Fulton to announce they had been accepted to the University of Tennessee. And we were all like, what? And then they call our names and we couldn't stop crying. <laughs> when we told Ariana and Sharon about the laptop telethon and community support for it, the tears started flowing again. Thank you. <laughs> It means a lot to a lot of people like me because I know I'm not the only one that like is going to UT and like doesn't have enough money for everything. So it's just, we really appreciate it. I want to tell the community thank you, you know, because you do have hard working students out there, underpaid parents that really can't afford what they're doing for her. I'm just so thankful that not only I get a laptop, but like my friends and my peers, maybe people that I don't talk to all the time because I know here, like, a lot of people struggle financially. Thank you. I'm very thankful. Very, very thankful. Hmm. That is great to see. And both those women yeah. have some, or those young ladies, I mm -hmm. should say, really have some, some lofty goals out there, and I think they're going to achieve them. They like. do. They do. Ariana, as I mentioned, wants to be an attorney. She wants to work with disadvantaged people. And uh, Sharon wants to be a veterinarian. Great. They're going to achieve their they goals. They will be there. They really no will. No doubt. Uh, we want to remind everybody our Project Grad Laptop Telethon is coming up Thursday, March 26th from 6.30 until 6.30, morning till night. You'll be able to call in to make a donation or you can give online anytime right now if you want to at projectgradknoxville.org. We have a link on our website in this story. Just go to wate.com. Worthwhile project.